All right, and uh, welcome back to another video. This is going to be the 2021 manga collection video. I did the 2021 anime collection video. Last time I did the manga collection video was like two and a half years ago. So it's been a long time coming. So uh, here we go. And I don't know how much manga I own. I'm not really going to count. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway. First up, we got The Way of the House Husband. Um, read one volume. I thought it was okay. It was funny, but it wasn't really a series that I think I want to buy more of. Um we have the first two volumes of Real. This is a series I've been meaning to buy more of. Uh, I mean, I bought these two volumes like five years ago, and I never bought more, so I'll have to uh, get on that at some point. Then we have uh, four volumes of Wave Listen to Me, fantastic series. Uh, I love the anime adaptation from earlier in 2020, and I just had to get the um, manga. And look at this. these Well, that's not maybe the best cover, but look at these covers. It's about uh, Minare, who has this uh, crazy rant. And about her boyfriend, how much of a piece of shit he is, and then she gets her own radio show because that rant was recorded and put on radio and everybody heard her uh, rant, and it's uh, it's pretty good. Then we have uh, Whisper Me a Love Song. This is a Yuri series. Uh, this is was, this was like a random buy. Um, I like the cover, and then I just never read it. Uh, Rent a Girlfriend, first four volumes. I don't know how I feel about Rent a Girlfriend. So... The only reason I really bought it was because uh, this YouTuber, Paulo in Tokyo, does um, videos of, in Japan, like uh, the day in the life of a Japanese delivery worker or the day in the life of a ramen chef. He did the one, one with a, a day in the life of a mangaka, and it followed the creator of Rent a Girlfriend, and ever since watching it, I wanted to support him because he seemed like a really cool dude, And uh, but with the series, um, I don't know, it seems too trashy for my taste. Lychee Light Club. Um... Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's, uh, it's definitely, uh, definitely a read for sure. Uh, then we have Sneeze, which is a collection of short stories by Naoki Urasawa. I haven't read it yet. Uh, then we have Muji Roshi, which is a one shot volume by uh, Naoki Urasawa. Big fan of him. So I just bought them both. I haven't read them yet though. Then we have, uh, volumes four through six of Witch Hat Atelier. I do have the first three. I just, first three volumes. I just don't know where they are, um, but we will find it. We will find those volumes as um, I'm recording this at some point, hopefully. Then we have the first two volumes of My Dress Up Darling. Uh, I did read the, I read the scans of these earlier, like before the manga was released here. And it was really good, but then I stopped reading it because then they announced a release and I want to kind of just support the manga, but I have not read these, as you can see, or reread them, but I will at some point. Um, but unfortunately, the, the newer volumes keep getting pushed back. Then we have volumes one through four of uh, Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. I love it. It's beautiful. It's cute. And we have the first two volumes of Wandering Witch, Journey of Elaine. Elena? Is it Elaine? Elena. So this reminded me of uh, Kino's Journey, which I really like. But, oops. Yeah, these volumes don't actually go here. I just placed them there for aesthetic purposes, I guess. But yeah, it uh, reminds me of Kino's Journey, but it's it's like a poor a poor man's Kino's Journey. It's not as good. Um, and I, I really like the anime to an extent. And then... Uh, I don't know. I kind of forgot about it. Oh, uh, next up we have some Japanese. Um, ooh, too etchy, maybe? No. So this is young. This is a magazine issue of Young Animal, which is where uh, Berserk runs, I believe. And this is where my dress up darling runs. I'm not sure what the name of the magazine is. It has a, a DVD in here, I think. And then, um, whoops. This is uh this is a uh, weekly young jump which is where golden uh Kamoi and um Tokyo Ghoul ran in there and uh Kingdom as you can see Kingdoms in this I don't know if it's in this issue but it, there is an advertisement for it. Then we have a few um issues of Weekly Shonen Jump. This one has Chainsaw Man on the cover. This one has uh Jujutsu Kaisen. This one has Promised Neverland. I think this one has um the second to last chapter which is dope. Black Clover's on this one, with Chainsaw Man on the, the spine. And then we have uh, Basatsu Shonen Magazine, which is a monthly shonen magazine where Attack on Titan and Flying Witch come on. I like it. And I'm just going to go down, and then we'll check the volumes behind these uh, these other, you know, volumes. Anyway, we have uh, volumes 1 through 40 of Berserk, including the official guidebook. Uh, very good series. Obviously, it's fantastic. Stop reading, I guess, around volume 25 because this is the last one that's like the shrink wrap's been taken off. Uh, the problem with Berserk is like I kind of stopped caring after the Golden Age arc. Like, I think it's still good and there's still some interest building, but it's not my favorite right now. 
Um, but I'll try to get back on that at some point. Then we have volumes one through five of the Ancient Magus Bride. Uh, two volume ones because uh, one is a variant cover. That's the standard. This is the variant, I believe. Yeah, super cute, I guess. Uh, just, I don't know, kind of stop reading. Uh, then we have a random volume five of Siren. I'm currently rereading it. And then uh, a stray volume of volume four of High Score Girl. I don't know where my first three volumes are. Anyway, we're going down. So here we have volumes one and three of Prophecy. It's kind of a cool um, series about the this group of guys that are uh, trying to get revenge because society has kind of screwed them over. I think that's what it's about. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of Zenku no Terror or Terror and Resonance, but it's more of a, it's a little more grounded, not as uh, intense. Then we have volume eight of Demon Slayer, volume four of, uh, what is that? Witchcraft Works, which I'm currently reading. Volume 19 of Black Clover, which I'm currently reading. Um, we have volumes one through four of Jujutsu Kaisen, very solid shonen series. Volumes one through uh, one through three of uh, Gintama. It's a shame it got canceled here. Uh, random volume one of Spy Family. I will buy more. I'm not up to date, but I read about like 15 chapters. I think it's really good. Demon Slayer volumes one through four. And then I have volume eight. And I think I'm missing another volume somewhere. Jesus, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, this is a mess. But uh, yeah, Demon Slayer. Wow. Um, the popularity of Demon Slayer is absolutely crazy. It's uh, <laughs> so the sales, so it blew out One Piece in terms of sales last year. But now, like just this year, I checked where it ranked like all time. And it's number eight all time highest selling manga of all time. Of all time. Did I say all time? All time. Crazy. Uh, not hating on it, though, but um, I don't know. It kind of ends okay, but I did enjoy it, and I do like the character designs a lot. Then we have this uh, Princess Jelly Jellyfish box set, which is, uh, I think those were my knees that just popped. It's a dope box. I can't pull this out. This is too heavy, but it's uh, it's really nice. I really like it. Then we have uh, Brockimon, volume one through two. Solonin, um, just a one-shot volume. It's probably my favorite Inio Asano series, um, just because, it, I don't know, it spoke to me. It spoke strong words. Uh, Doro Hetero volumes 1 through 23. I'm missing volume 3 just because I'm reading it right now. Uh, fantastic series. It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. It's really good. I like it a lot. Sorry, I had to uh, pause the video. I was out of breath. Um, <laughs> then we have volumes 1 through 4 of a Haru Ride uh, Shoujo series. Well, I should probably stop playing with this Yu-Gi-Oh card. Um, I haven't read it yet. I just uh, I kind of wanted to get into some shoujo or at least like get into more romance series, but I've realized I'm not really big into romance series. At least there's very few that I really like, but um, I'll probably buy the entire series at some point. I think it's got like 11 volumes, so it's not too bad. Uh, volume one of uh, Bungo Stray Dogs. I didn't pay for that. Well, I guess technically I did because it was a loot. It was a loot crate or the loot anime um gift thing i don't know uh siren volumes yeah one, one through four and then i'm reading five and then six through 16 this was kind of like that first um alternative shonen series something that wasn't like the you know part of that big three or the really popular stuff uh i mean it's still kind of popular but not really um but yeah it's uh it was it was fun it's like a poor man's bleach it was pretty entertaining and pretty uh it's pretty short so it's it's like a short sweet series i don't know i enjoyed it had fun with it uh, then we have Magi Volumes 1 through 21. Um, amazing covers, amazing spine art. I love it. Uh, I've read up to like Volume 8, and then I just kind of didn't buy any more Magi, so I couldn't, I didn't want to read more. But I've been slowly but surely collecting um, the series again, and I think uh, I think it's got 37 volumes, so I just need 16 more, which is uh, which is a lot. <laughs> That's like all of Siren, but. Uh, hopefully I get that at some point, and then I can read it all. Then we have Bloody Monday, Volumes 1 through 11. So this was kind of like a blind buy. I think uh, Right Stuff had a bundle sale. They got this all for like 60 bucks or something. Uh, somewhat regret it already because... Um, so typically I have like a one-chapter rule. If I don't like a series in one chapter, it means I'm just not going to like it. Bloody Monday, I kind of stopped reading after like two pages. Um, that could just be me. Maybe I wasn't in the right mental state to read it or something like that. I realized Jesus is right there. Jesus. Craw I mean, <laughs> oh my God. Um... Yeah, anyway, I'll read it at some point, I guess. Old Boy, Volumes 1 through 8. This was, uh, wow, yeah, this was kind of like a regrettable buy because it's not that great. Um, it was really good for a bit, and then it the, the it ends it ends horribly. It ends very bad. I did not like, I did not like the reason the main villain did what he does because I just thought it was, like, kind of dumb and just super ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's, uh, wow. Anyway, 
Uh, we have volumes one through tw or, uh, 12 through 13 of Witchcraft Works. Uh, I don't know why I put it there. But we have volumes one through eight of Fire Punch. Yes, fantastic series, super messed up. Uh, breaks my heart every time I read it, but uh, I would recommend it wholeheartedly. Then we have Black Clover one through 18, and then 19's up uh, on the top shelf. And then we have 20, 21, and 22. Um, I like Black Clover, man. It does it does what it needs to do. It's a it's a simple shonen series. It's not great. It's not bad, uh, but it's definitely not amazing, right? But uh, it's entertaining, and I like the way it does its uh, female characters. I think there's a little, uh, some genuine development for the, uh, most of them. Uh, Noelle's really good, and then um, can't remember that's uh, this this fire girl right here absolute uh like insane individual but uh very entertaining then we have more witchcraft work volumes one uh, through three then five through eleven um kind of a guilty pleasure of mine you know i don't know what it is it could be because uh they're witches or it could be because the girl's like six feet tall um it's enjoyable it's, it's just very fun then we have a bride story volumes one through one through five this is this i did not expect to love but it is amazing. I've read two volumes, and it is beautiful. Beautiful, especially these covers. Oh my gosh, hardcover. Damn it, so expensive though. That's for sure. Very expensive, but I like it. Then we have Gundam, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam: The Origin, volumes one through four. I'm not going to show them all, but I love Gundam. Um, and I do have. I'll just show it right here. But we have volumes what, five through six. Right there, I'm gonna slowly but surely buy more Gundam, and yeah, that's uh, that's the first part of this shelf. So now I'll pull out all the manga from behind, and we can take another little peek, see and see what's up. All right, and this is the the shelf that had all the Berserk. Uh, I'm sure some people could probably see these volumes. Just these are taller than the Berserk volumes, but yeah, we have Villain Saga volumes one through eleven. Um, fantastic series. Uh, let me just pull out what's a good cover. This one's a dope cover. Yeah, Villain Saga. It's an amazing series. It's amazing. I'm so glad this series is popular now. I remember the uncertainty of it ever, like, releasing new volumes. I just remember that being a thing, right? Like, Volume 9 release, and they're like, oh, you know, when's Volume 10 going to be released? Probably not. I, uh, it's, it sucked. It was a tough time to be alive. But, uh, you know, got an anime. It's really popular now. Thank you. Uh, St. Young Men, Volume 1. It's about Jesus and Buddha hanging out, having a vacation. It's um, very funny. Uh, then we have Vagabond, Volume 1 through 2, or 1 and 2, I guess. It's not really, there's no need for the through. But, uh, yeah, I've never, I have not bought a new Vagabond volume in, like, six years. I don't know. I bought these two volumes together, and I've added the whole series, or, like, at least the the rest of the volumes in my cart, and I just never, never click, um, you know, complete order. But I will, I really want to invest money and time into the series just because I love the art. And I've only read Volume 1, and the story is just really solid, um definitely something i need to get into uh this year hopefully uh then we have jojo's bizarre adventure of um part one volumes one through three part two volumes one through four and then part uh or part two one through four and then part three volumes one through five um i don't know i don't think i like jojo's to be honest with you i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's fine it's solid i guess but it's just i don't think it the humor is for me i don't get the memes i mean some of the memes are funny i just i don't know it's not it's not maybe for me. That could be it. I like Fist of the North Star, but uh, which is kind of similar to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, just like you know, manly testosterone and whatnot. But uh, also super excited for those hardcovers. But um, I don't know if I'll ever buy more. I kind of want to just because I think these hardcover releases are really nice, but I just don't really care for the series in general. Like I've watched part one, part two, and then I've tried to start part three, but I just I kind of don't like the main character. I don't like the way he talks to his mom. Um, but yeah, there's uh, that's uh, that's this shelf. All right, so in the next shelf we have one volume or the only volume of Not Simple. Still have not like read that to completion. I really have to because it's it's a really crazy story, or at least it's setting up to be. Uh, Monster one through nine, that's complete. It's fantastic. I love it. Then we have Welcome to NHK. I'm missing volume two, three, and five. I might have to jump on that soon because I mean it's only three volumes, and then I can finally read it. I've watched it already, but you know. Reading it would be an experience. Then we have High Score Girl, High Score Girl, High Score Girl, excuse me, volumes one and three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, uh, which had Atelier, one, two, and three. We found those volumes. Um, I do like which had, which had Atelier a lot because the magic system reminds me of uh, Full Metal Alchemist. 
So it's kind of interesting. Uh, we have Pink and Close Called Fat, both really fucked up series. B Stars one and two. Um, I might actually invest in B Stars and like buy the rest of the series just because it's complete. I love when a series ends because then I can just buy it all and collect it in one go and read it all in one go. Uh, we have Satoshi Khan's Opus, fantastic. It's amazing. And then up here we have MNW or MW. Which I feel like inspired Monster. It's Osama Tezuka. I wouldn't be surprised because Naoki Urasawa loves Osama Tezuka work. You know, because he did uh, Pluto. And we have My Boy Volume 1 and Flying Witch Volume 1. And then over here, Food Wars. Volumes 1 through 13. Um, I've been thinking about selling this series, to be honest with you. Just because I know the series drops in quality. I actually dropped the series right before it was... It got really bad, at least. I would already read enough and I kind of gave up on it. Uh, I heard it gets worse, so, and there's 37 volumes or something like that, so I don't know if it's worth the investment. Um, I wouldn't mind keeping it either, just because I, I really did love this series a lot. Super original at the time, and now it's just, it's a shame. One Piece, volumes 1, or Jesus, 70 through 80, uh, 81. I'm probably going to sell these off because they announced the fourth One Piece box set, so, yeah. All right, next shelf, we have... Uh... Five volumes of D. Grayman. I've been debating if I want to buy more D. Grayman, um, just because I know it's it would be another series in my collection that is on hiatus. It's not complete, and I hate. It's a pet peeve of mine. I have two two big series that are you know on hiatus. One is Berserk, obviously, and then the other one I'll show eventually. But um, yeah, I don't know. I've just I like D. Grayman a lot. I remember watching the anime as a kid, and then um, I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens with that. Then we have Ayodi Aoshi, volumes 1 through 9, and then 11. Uh, I'm not sure how many volumes there are. I think it's 17 or 15 volumes. Um, I'm pretty sure those are hard to get to now because it's Tokyo Pop. And uh, we'll see what happens. Ayodi Aoshi is kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, Come Can't Communicate, volume 1 and 2. Uh, volumes 1 and 2. Jesus. Uh, yeah, not, not, my, not for me. I was thinking about getting rid of them. I'm not sure. I might keep them. Who knows? Uh, Black Torch, Volumes 1 through 5, that's complete. It's okay. Um, that's all there is to it. It's It ended too short. I mean, it's not the most original series either. It's I mean, I, I thought it was very much like Blue Exorcist or Jujutsu Kaisen, Bleach, you know, any of like the edgy kind of supernatural shonen stuff. So it was okay. Uh, Promise Neverland, uh, uh, Promise Neverland, The Promise Neverland, Volumes 1 through 12. Um... This, I think it's going to be 20 volumes in total. I was thinking about buying them all, but at the same time, I don't really care for The Promised Neverland, especially the way it ends. Uh, I think the latter arcs were kind of weak, and I actually heard season two of the anime isn't even adapting like the best arcs from the series, which is a shame. So Promised Neverland is just a franchise that's just getting butchered. Um, but the manga, for the most part, was it was, it was still good um, up until a certain point, and then it just kind of, I don't know, it's just, it's okay. Um yeah. Uh, Dead Man Wonderland, volumes 1 through 13, that's complete. Um, Dead Man Wonderland, I remember watching the anime on Toonami. I thought it was solid. It ends on a cliffhanger. I was really upset. Finally got the manga. They released them in these really nice uh, white and black editions. They're super dope. And they look good. they look amazing on the shelf. And the series is it's just it's solid. It's fun. It's a good, like, gore fest. I liked it. Uh, Astra, Lost in Space. Holy crap. Volumes 1 through 5. This was way better than I thought it was going to be. It's fantastic. I highly recommend it. Short series, worth the read. Hard to get into, but once it starts getting going, it's going, that's for sure. And then, uh, yeah, Act Age Volumes 1 through 2, and that's it. All right, and then we have this last shelf, on, uh, or this last bit of manga on this shelf. Anyway, All You Need Is Kill, um, one-shot volume. I love that. I love one-shot volumes. And um, the fact that this was a good series is... Uh, is great too. So then we have uh, volumes one and two of Planets, which is by Makoto Yukimura, same creator of uh, Vinland Saga. Fantastic manga series. I would say that the anime is better. I think you should watch the anime and then read the manga. I think they kind of go hand in hand. Um, but the anime is different. There's some filler, fake characters, but I think it's worth watching and then reading it. Just know that there's some differences, or I guess big differences, but still worth, still worth it. In my opinion. Then we have Pluto, Volumes 1 through 8. Solid. Amazing. I love it. Uh, then we have the 20th Century Boys, Volumes 1 through 22. And then the 21st Century Boys. Great. I like it. 
Then we have Girl on the Shore, or A Girl on the Shore, by Ini Osano. Um, I still don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I just kind of have it now. It's just, you know, and hidden in my collection. Uh, Tropic of the Sea by Satoshi Kon. Not my favorite work by him. I thought it was kind of bad, honestly. Uh, the, the God's Lie. That was really good. Really, really good. One Shot Volume 2. Fantastic. Seven Billion Needles, Volumes 1 and 2. Um, yeah, wow. That's not good, actually. Like, not at all. I was thinking about selling these volumes, but they're pretty... I, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to keep them because I think the first two volumes are good. The last two volumes, which are actually really expensive, are horrible. Horrible. Ends the series... It's just bad. Uh, oh, Parts Hunter, Volumes 1 and 3. 1, 2, and 3. Um, I have more volumes, but honestly, Oh, Parts Hunter is kind of on the cutting block in my collection. Like, it's like just pop. There's a huge possibility that I'm just going to sell this off. Um, it's made by Seishi Kishimoto, who's the twin brother of Maso uh, Masashi Kishimoto, creator of Naruto. Uh, I was interested because of that, but the series as a whole is just, it's okay. It's not great. Uh, then we have Goodnight Poon Poon, um, the entire series. I don't know how I feel about the series, honestly. It's it's good, it's bad, it's rough, it's intense. Uh, definitely an experience. I would say it's worth reading, but you know, it's up to you if you want to actually buy the volumes or not. And yeah, then we have a uh, Time Killers short. Oh my God, it's an anthology manga, right? A bunch of short stories by uh, the creator of Blue Exorcist, Kazue Kato. I like it. It was kind of interesting watching like the blueprint uh, for Blue Exorcist since that was one of my first manga. But um, and the volume is it's it's very pretty, very pretty. I like it. And that's it. All right. So last shelf we have a uh, Silent Voice, the complete box set, fantastic, fantastic series, very beautiful. Pokemon Adventures volumes one through seven, uh, first box set, very good. Now and then here and there, uh, I forgot to show this. It's an anime, fantastic by the way. Highly recommend it. Excel Saga, it's kind of rare. I think that's why I bought it, the Imperfect Collection. I will um, watch it at some point. Then we have Great Teacher Onizuka, GTO. Uh, amazing series. This is the Tokyo Pop release, which is dope. That's the anime, by the way. All right, first shelf, we have Kaiju Girl Caramelize. I love this series. It's three volumes. The fourth one's on the way. It's beautiful. We have Sandland by Akira Toriyama. It's pretty uh, solid. Battle Royale, all of Battle Royale. Got that for 60 bucks, which is dope. Uh, the Voynich Hotel, never finished it. Just didn't really care for it, to be honest with you. It's only three volumes. That's why I got it. Velveteen and Mandela. Oh, my. Or Mandala. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The reason I have it kind of perched up here, like, sticking out, is because I just never want to forget what I read. Because, holy crap. This and Lychee Light Club are two of the most WTF manga that I've ever read. Um, yeah. I love the way they describe it, too. It's like, uh, what does it say? Uh, a sublime mixture of Hayao Miyazaki, <laughs> Evangelion, and Scatology. Wow, crazy. Blue Exorcist, um, volumes 1 through, what is that, 17, and we have, uh, this, uh, Saber figure, dope. And then Jacko, the Galactic Patrolman, uh, by Kira Toriyama. Next shelf, so I gotta be careful because there's a hentai manga there. Uh, we have this Kurosu Makase figure, dope. Then we have all of Yu Yu Hakusho, volumes 1 through 19, I believe, and then we have Oliver Roni Kenshin. Uh, classic Shonen series, very good. Uh, then we have this hentai manga called Kugao's Sluts and Whatever. Just trying to not. Okay, I think the yeah, I strategically blocked out the nipples that are on this on this uh, spine cover. I kind of bought it for um, shits and giggles, and I read the first chapter, and it was just a bit much for me. So then we have Chainsaw Man, uh, some Japanese volumes. This was before the North American release, and I just really wanted to support it, and I just like the way the covers look, and the the kanji on there looks dope. But yeah, we have like, you know, volume nine. I think there's 11 volumes in total. So I'm definitely going to complete that. And I might buy the, the English, this cover, damn it, this cover is awesome. Might buy the, uh, the English version at some point. Then we have, um, Japanese volume of, sorry, my shelf is dirty. I'm, uh, I'm ashamed. Uh, Yofu Kashi no Uta, or, uh, I think it's the Nightwalkers. This is actually getting a North American release. I'm really excited about it. It's actually a really good series too. It's the uh, same creator as Dagashi Kashi, if anybody's watched the anime for that. And it's just about this kid that has insomnia and he hangs out with this vampire girl. And it's it's very good. Very good, in my opinion. Um, next shelf, we have um, this Teddy Bear. I'm a, yes, I'm a Washington football fan. Um, they are no longer the name that you saw on his shirt. We have Topo GP, um, created by the creator of 
Oh My Goddess and uh, You're Under Arrest. It's about motorcycles. It's racing. It's pretty cool. I like it. Nice, like, shonen sports. Uh, right behind and next to it is Slam Dunk, arguably the greatest, greatest sports manga of all time. Fantastic series. Highly recommended. I was slightly disappointed in the way it ends. Um, I know it's a natural conclusion, but I just, I prefer when a sports series kind of goes through, like, you know, their entire kind of career. Um, it doesn't have to, but I don't know. I was kind of, like, unsatisfied with the ending. Uh, then we have Blue Spring by Taiyo Matsumoto. I think it's my only work that I own by him. Definitely got to get Ping Pong. That looks, well, I've watched Ping Pong. It's amazing, but definitely want to own the manga. Uh, Blue Spring, it's a, like, anthology collection of short stories. Very good. Uh, Pipa Cho. Uh, made by an American mangaka who went to Japan to publish it. It was dope. Um, makes fun of kind of like the stereotypes and otaku culture. It's, it's it's good. Very good. I like it. And then Kino's Journey, volumes 1 through 7. Fantastic release. Um, by Vertical, I love the covers. Jesus, my knee popped again. Uh, this is the newest cover. Amazing series. Then we have uh, Gigant. This is from the creator of um, Gantz. Yeah, wow, it's about a porn star that can turn into a giant. It's awesome. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Limit, never bought more of this. Um, it's like part, like part of this pocket size manga release that Vertical was doing back in the day. Squid Liquid Chambers, never read more of it. There's only three volumes. I might have to just buy those two, even if it's bad. I'm kind of interested. And then um, The Mysterious Underground Men, which is by... Um, Osama Tezuka, I think it's his third manga series that he ever did. It's the first one that's actually like a story manga. Um, this is apparently kind of rare. I think it is. I don't know. I've, I'm pretty sure the company went under, so it might be rare at some point. So it's cool to have. All right, this next shelf, we have this dope figure of Broly. My God, what a behemoth, dude. This figure is huge, by the way. Um, one of the dopest figures I have. Wasn't that expensive either, which is cool. Anyway, we have Hunter Hunter, volumes 1 through, what, 35? That's all Hunter Hunter that's out at the moment. Um, it's the other series that's on hiatus. It'll never finish. It'll never complete. It's a shame. I enjoyed what I read. I enjoyed what I watched, but, you know, it is what it is. We have Blue Period, volume 1. Haven't read it yet. Will at some point. Then we have Soul Eater, these perfect editions, which are absolutely amazing to look at. There's nice hard covers. I love the... I love the covers, too, and the character designs. So cool. Um, the Volume 3 of Dark Hodora that I'm still reading. Uh, then we have The Resolving Classroom. I'm not really big into Junji Ito, to be honest with you. Didn't really care for this volume. It was cheap on Halloween, which was cool. Actually, I didn't like Dissolving Classroom, but I cherish this volume because, I don't know, it was like... I, re I remember... Ah, jeez, I'm stuttering. I remember reading it on Halloween, and it was just... I don't know. It gave me, like, a really good feeling. Uh, but the series was okay. Um, then we have, I married my best friend to shut my parents up. Yuri series. It was all right. Not great. Not bad, but it was, it was entertaining, I guess. Then we have spirit circle volumes one through six. Fantastic series. Um, I know the same creator did Lucifer and the biscuit hammer, something like that. And that was supposed to be really good, but it's out of print now. So I'm kind of, you know, it hurts. It hurts, but spirit circle was good. So, you know. All right, and then we have this last shelf on this on this particular bookshelf, and then we'll get into the box sets. Actually, I think I have some other manga that aren't on shelves, but we'll get into that later. We have uh, volumes 1 through 15 of Eyes. Um, it's okay. It's not really worth pulling out. I do have a library copy. As you can see, that's the last volume. Um, yeah, it was pretty good for a bit, and then it just, just plummeted. Um, Shonen Jump series, too. Ikigami. This was one of the first, like manga that I actually purchased because I was like kind of buying like the first two volumes like with Vinland Saga I was buying like the first two volumes and just testing things out never really got into it um but I know it had like an interesting concept I think they like pick a citizen to, to kill um and yeah I don't know that's all I know Battle Angel Alita volumes one through five I'm so upset they decided to release a box set as soon as they released volume five which is the last volume to release a box set so gonna have to probably get that box set at some point Again, um, this was free. I didn't, I don't know. I never read it. Uh, we have volumes. Oh, we're talking no video. I didn't show this in the anime collection video, I don't think. Um, it's a mockumentary of uh, anime and otaku culture, I believe. And then, uh, yeah, we have uh, pretty much volumes 1 through 11, the entire series of uh, The Flowers of Evil. I think I'm missing volume 8. Super expensive, I'm pretty sure. Um, 
uh, never read, never really read this. I bought all, I think I bought like the first six volumes all in one go and I just never read it. Um, so there's that. Then we have Video Girl Eye. Um, same creator as Eyes. Uh, this is way better. I love this series. It's so good. Goes on for maybe a little too long, but personally, it is one of, if not my favorite, um, shonen romance series of all time. And then behind that, we have um, some random fairy tale volume. I think it's about Gajo. I don't really care for fairy tale, to be honest with you. Then we have Noragami, volumes one through seven. I have not bought a new volume of Noragami in years. I really have to. It's kind of high. I'm just kind of hiding it because. I don't know. I really need to buy it, though. I love that series. And then uh, Seven Deadly Sins, which I think I might just sell, to be honest with you. I have. I like it because I like, I have the like the the cover art or the the spine art is dope, but I just don't think I care for the series in general. So I might have to you know axe that at some point. And that's it for this shelf, or this whole yeah this whole bookshelf. Nice. All right, so we're looking at the box sets. Uh, first one is the Death Note box set, which is still sealed. Haven't opened it um yet but this is such a just the art is fantastic on it it's dope um yeah death note is good up until a certain point and uh then it kind of not particularly big on it um especially towards the end well it, it ends fine actually it ends the ending is really good it was just kind of that last arc that i wasn't really big on so but yeah yeah not, not much to say bleach first bleach box set collects all soul society all of soul society Jeez, having trouble talking today. But um, yeah, this is peak Bleach in my opinion. I think this is like Bleach at its best. I've never read, out of all my boxes, I haven't read a box set faster than I did this because I just could not stop reading. And I mean, the there's more action than dialogue for the most part, but I really enjoyed it. I had so much fun. Second Bleach box set. Mm. <laughs> um, I think some people would say this is peak Bleach because uh, this is like the Iron Car arc like the whole weco mundo stuff where like half the characters kind of speak spanish um yeah this was okay um i've been debating if i want to get the third bleach box set just because i'd have all of bleach then but i don't know how much i like bleach to be honest with you if i <laughs> so i might not uh then we have rosario vampire this is just a, a one box set whoops my clothes are on the floor oh, nobody saw that um very nice very very nice i like it this is um so uh, it, it's i have a hard time recommending it just because i think so this is split up into like two seasons i don't know why manga does it but it, it is like that and uh the first season of the manga is kind of rough the second season though whew, it was excellent especially like i think the last five volumes banger after banger it has one of the best like last arcs in shonen that i think and it ends amazing um highly recommend it and uh, i'll show the next round of box sets now all right next round of box sets we have dragon ball and dragon ball z um i've read all of dragon ball i haven't actually read dragon ball z i've watched it all but whoops something just fell um excellent series classic shonen i mean it essentially created battle manga what's not to like one piece the third box set the first and the second there's a fourth. I'm super excited, hyped. I am a One Piece fanboy. It is the truth. Um, no lies here. And next, oh, we got Naruto. Yes, Naruto, the first Naruto box set. Um, not big onto, not a big Naruto fan personally. I did grow up with it, and I did like Naruto. Whoops, I'm doing some stuff off screen. It's going horribly wrong. But um, yeah, I'm not particularly big on Naruto personally. I did, I do like uh, the first part of Naruto, like when he's still a kid. I think this is really good. Um, and then I do have the second Naruto box set when he gets older. Um, I actually think Naruto does stay pretty good throughout this arc because this is the pain arc. I think that's, yeah, this is the pain arc. and Or the invasion of pain arc, whatever. It's still really good. Um, the third box set, though, same thing with the Bleach. <laughs> I don't know how much I like Naruto to get the third box set because I don't like mostly anything that happens in that part of the series so um that would uh yeah debating on that i don't know i have a lot of box sets anyway i want to get claymore too and full metal alchemist i don't own those and those are high priorities and then i do want to show off these volumes that i don't really have on the shelves but i think they're worth showing up four volumes of the delinquent housewife this is really good i mean well it could have been really good it's okay 
I think it plays it too safe. I really wanted it. It was getting juicy, man. It was getting super juicy. I really wanted it to go the route that I thought it was, but it didn't. So that was a shame. And then I have uh, all of Wolfsmund, which is a series that I'd highly recommend. Um, yeah, all of all of it. All of it. Whoops, my hand. Yeah, sorry. I got a cut a couple months ago. It did not heal very well. And uh, yeah, that's uh, I think that's everything. Hopefully. Um, anything that I didn't show is stuff that I'm probably getting rid of, even though, I mean, I did say I'm probably going to get rid of some other stuff on this video, but, uh, yeah, that's my entire manga collection. I don't know how many volumes it is. It's a lot. And, uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you did, bye.